Alrighty, welcome back YouTube to Fern Valley Farmers Beekeeping Channel. If you're looking for beekeeping videos, you've come to the right place. Okay, my name is Vince, and this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys really quick here. We're in the honey house. We got done extracting. I've got all my boxes here. They're all done. This is especially for beginners, in case you don't know this. This is how you get rid of your this is how you get your frames cleaned up. I'm gonna show you. You see that? This is how you clean your boxes. I put a few boxes out here to distract the bees because they were trying to get into the honey house. What I'm going to do is load all these boxes into this wagon and take them out to the pasture. And I'm not going to try and carry the camera while I'm driving, so once I get out there, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, let me get these boxes loaded up. As soon as I get these out of here, shut this door. Yeah, look at that. Well, I, they'll, all, they'll all go to the window is what they'll do. Fortunately, the good thing is the bees won't hurt the honey at all. Put that other frame in there. That comb one. I'm trying to do this quick because my honey bar is starting to fill up with bees, but this will distract them. Oh, you don't So I'm going to haul these out to my pasture, and I'll, I'll get out there with the camera once I get out there. We'll be back in a few minutes. All right, well, welcome back. They're all, all the boxes are out here. They're actually not as bad as I thought they'd be right now, but I'm sure that'll change. Because yesterday, I put one in this little pond that I'm digging right here. I had set one inside there a couple days ago, and that thing was loaded with bees. So they could be out foraging, too, because the goldenrod is starting to bloom. Well, I hate that squeak. See right here, right there, is goldenrod. It's starting. So, actually, now that I look out here, I haven't looked in a few days. It's kind of hard to tell from where the camera is at, but all this back here, all that goldenrod is blooming. So the bees got plenty to, to forage on. We really never went into a dearth officially. It got a little dry, but we really never got... There was, there's was there been something going on all this time, because even my pollen feeders over there, they're not touching it. I put that out there just to put it out. And not, they're not touching it. So we're pretty much going right from nectar, nectar flow and almost in the goldenrod. And now that I'm seeing this bloom, and last year, today is what? Whatever day today is, it's about the middle of August. About the same time last year. I, I kind of keep track of some of this stuff. I'm kind of a freak about that. So I find it interesting. <laughs> so anyways, here's what, you know, but you can see and they're all over, but they're not as bad as... <laughs> They're not as bad as I was thinking, but maybe later that'll change, who knows. But this, I'll leave these out here for a couple of days and just let them go to town. So. One piece of advice when you do this, because here again, like I always say, ask me how I know. The very first year I did this, I put the boxes like way too close together and they were just killing each other. By the time it was all said and done, I had dead bees all over the ground. So now when I do this, I just space them out. There's no horse out here right now because I've been redoing my fence. So there's no horse out, right, out here right now. Even like next year when I do this, I'll put the horse in so this whole pasture is, is free. Nothing can mess with it. 
and just space these all out. Let these girls just clean these boxes up all the way and we're good. So, and then once they're cleaned up, I'll put them up in the barn, I'll store them. Store them for winter. Oh, that's a bad word, winter. <laughs> so, anyways, that's it. Um, the bees are cleaning out the boxes. We're cleaning up the honey house, the honey barn, and we're, we're you know, honey harvest 2020. It looks pretty good. I'll have to weigh it all. I probably got about five, five gallon buckets, I think, total, maybe six. I have to well, wait and see because I still got to spin my wax too. I'll do another video on that. So, when I spin all those wax cappings, that's going to give me more honey also. So, also, so, anyways, hopefully you liked the video, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, and I will talk to you guys like really quick in the next video, or I'll talk to you later, bye.